Welcome to the world of solar cooking. I'd like to explain to you how to set up and use a sun oven. When the sun oven arrives, it will come in a box with packing material, and of course the first step is to remove it from the box. When you remove it from the box, you just want to open it up and initially take any packing materials out of the inside so they can be discarded. Before putting the sun oven in the sun, it's very important the oven comes with a protective film on the reflectors. And the first step before putting it in the sun is to make sure that you completely peel away this protective film. If you loosen the edges first and then peel it, it comes off a lot faster and then be very careful as you go around each rivet to make sure you get all of the film off. As you can see, as you peel away the reflective material, what's underneath is a very shiny reflector. And the reflector reflects the light into the oven box. In order to keep these reflective reflectors clean, all you need to do is clean them with any kind of a window cleaner, like a Windex or um, vinegar water, and they'll polish right up just like glass would polish up. Once you've peeled off the film from the reflectors, you're ready to start focusing your sun oven. To focus it, all you need to do is to point it towards the sun, secure the glass tightly with these latches, and set it towards the sun. If you back up and stand behind the oven, the goal is to get the shadows even on both sides. As the sun moves, you'll want to refocus the oven the more often you refocus it, the faster it cooks, the less often you focus it, the slower it cooks. But cooking in a sun oven is really just a function of you can cook at a, for a longer time at a lower temperature or for a shorter time or a higher temperature and it doesn't affect the quality of the foods at all. When you're cooking in a sun oven, you want to use, you have several options as far as what kinds of pots to use. The most efficient kind of pot to use is an enamelware pot, something that's thin and dark. You can use glassware. The main thing you want to stay away from is using something that's very shiny, like stainless steel, that would reflect the light outside of the oven. Anything cooked in a sun oven, other than bakery goods, should be cooked in a pot with a lid on it. Bakery goods can be cooked in any kind of a cookie sheet or um, a bread pan, whatever, a cake pan, whatever the standard pans are, will work just well in a sun oven. But you do need a lidded pot if you're boiling foods, if you're baking foods, or if you're steaming foods in order to trap the moisture inside the pot. When you do cook inside a sun oven, you want to make sure that the first time you use the oven, you set it in the sun for approximately 90 minutes, get it up to the maximum temperature that you can obtain, then open the oven and let it cool off. Then thoroughly clean the inside of the oven with dishwashing soap and particularly clean the inside of the glass. You'll want to rub very aggressively on the inside of the glass to make sure that if there's any residue or anything inside the oven, the first time you use it or cure it, you're going to wind up wanting to clean the inside of the glass thoroughly and the inside of the oven. Then you're ready to start cooking. When you finish cooking in your sun oven, you'll want to open the door, let it cool thoroughly, and then you'll want to wipe out the inside of the oven with a clean cloth taking note to make sure that any moisture inside the oven is completely wiped out. And when you put it away for storage, do not seal the glass. Just leave the glass open in order to let air inside the oven chamber. And then to fold it back up, all you have to do is go like this. It's ready to be put away and stored.